I'm Randy from CampingAndFishingCalifornia.com and I have another video for you and this time we're going to look at how to fillet a trout. Now in this video you'll see I'm a little gleeful, a little joyful, a little happy, uh, just a little sappy but the reason why is I have been trying to fillet a trout for a long time. I've watched videos and watched other guys do it but this time I watched a guy named Rod who was camping next to us in Paha Campground and he showed us how in this time I think I have it figured out. So join us as we watch Rod fillet this trout. I brought two, I want to make sure these, I don't know which one is sharp. Okay, behind the gear. These aren't sharp. That's about how mine is too. Oh, that's bad. These are tough. Yeah, he's yeah, big. There we go. Here yeah. we go. And then you stay on the top. Okay. And you slowly do it a little bit at a time, you know. Okay. So the bones stay on that side of the of the knife. Okay. You just go right down the top. But you just do a little bit at a time. Okay. Yeah. Kaylee. Hopefully the, hopefully the bones are going in the right direction. Oh. No kidding, so that's how you do it. Oh, wow. I just, yeah, I I might not, yeah, come on in, guys. I might not oh, have gone deep what, enough. Oh, your scale? Or? My, uh, my Thomas Boyan. Oh. oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be a 102, I think it is. Mine's that one right there. Let's see. Uh, I feel the bottom, You know what? Mine is yeah. a little different. That's more so gold. Right on when you feel them. With the red and black. Okay. I'll show you what mine is. Yours has a little bit of purple Mine's, on it or no, huh? No? Here, babe, hold this for a second. I'm recording. Here, I'll get you. See the big fishy? Look. Yeah. See the big fishy? It's a big one, huh? It's a good fillet. Man. You don't want to disconnect that yet. Oh, are you kidding? That's it, huh? Because you're going to flip it over and take the other skin off the other side. Okay. I'm not sure I'm riding on the bone, but... That's a lot of meat. You can feel the bone on the knife. Oh, okay. See? No kidding, sure. I can feel it when I'm when I'm pushed down. Okay. I'm not used to trial, but you know, seeing it in person is a whole different. It's different, thing. of course. Yeah. yeah. On those videos. Okay. Then you want to. It's still alive. Okay. Good. Oh wow! What you want to do? I'm oh put my over goodness! That way so I can. It's okay for now. You can let it go. Okay. I'm gonna flip it over. Right up. And then. Oh! Oh I wow! Saw this part. Yeah, you can uh, ride along the skin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and pull that slowly. Pull it back. But this part. <gasps> oh my goodness! Right to the end of the tail. Right. And all that's meat, huh? Yeah, this is good. Oh, I see. Oh, and then you wow. just go right along the skin. Right along the skin if you can. This no knife's not as sharp as I'd like it. But this is thick. Nice thick piece of meat. Wow. Yeah, try to... I guess we will be barbecuing tomorrow, huh, babe? Yeah, we should come right mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. oh, I, missed. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's okay to cook it like that, oh, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I missed it. Yeah. That's a nice piece of meat. Wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You no really bones. think it was four pounds? I hope. And either I got on the right side oh, or the wrong side of the yeah, bone. Oh, no, no. And yeah. then you want to cut out where this fin is. You want to cut that out on that side, but you can just leave oh, it on and just eat around. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is harder this way because it's the other way around. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you for helping us. You're welcome. Yeah, this is a great We're education. We're not used to catching yeah. this many big fish. The first two we just took and had them smoked. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and it worked out really well. follow that. With the gill. Follow the gill, right? Okay. Yeah. You can feel, like, right there, I can feel it's the tough. Yeah. Okay. And then, hopefully, I can feel it as I go. Yeah. Hopefully I'm on the right side. This is weird with the trout. I never did a trout. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's big. Because you get a big piece of... Do you usually like fish? Yeah. 
We do because we live on the lake. But oh, of course. Uh, I I do a lot of uh, surf fishing. Oh, oh, do oh, yeah. oh, do you? I'd rather just eat perch out of the ocean. Oh, yeah. oh, oh you know. do you go to the beach ocean. and camp? Yeah. Where do you camp? In Ventura. At? Oh, okay. Feria. All righty. Because they used to go to carp, but oh yeah. Oh, I think some of those bones are on the other side. It's all right. It's still gonna be better than. Yeah. Wow. You avoid all the body parts in there. Yeah. yeah. We go to Camp Pendleton, Pendleton and yeah. uh, camp Red on beach. the beach, yeah. Red Beach, and our friends they surf fish all oh, the time. Neat. The guys do. Yeah, I like to do that. Absolutely love that. So you're just on this side of the, all the yeah. wow. organs. Sure. Sure. Um, I guess if the fish is big enough, you've got plenty of yeah, meat. Yeah, there's and some bone in there. I must have done that wrong. Okay. It's all right. At least you're learning. You're always careful. But it's a learn, learning process. I was going to learn on the smaller ones. I should have tried. Oh. Yeah. This one I need to cut around, I think. I don't want to get that. Okay. And then just finish it off. Okay. Pull that down again and we'll wow. okay. pull uh, this way down. Yep. I'm going to flip this. Get underneath there. Okay. See if I can do a better job with the skin. And just go right along the skin. Might be if I take this, pull that fish off. Yeah. Pull them off and then yeah. do it on the board maybe. Okay. Now, so do you guys eat fish a lot? No, uh, pretty much. I don't catch a lot at the lake because I don't like to lake fish that much. Yeah, it's not as yeah, and we're trying to get the interesting. It's not. We have a boat and everything, but oh, do you? We're, they're working on getting the bass population. Oh, uh huh. Going. Oh, how are they doing with the carp up there? Mm. Man, I because I'm crazy. They have a carp tough. round. I did it again. No oh, well. I think oh, the well. skin's too thin. That's okay. Yeah. Those are too nice. We'll just oh, we can yeah. slice them. Nice now, we now, well, would you them. just, should we freeze these or should we put them in the fridge for tomorrow? Yeah, I could freeze them. There's some bones You'd freeze them? And I then mean, when I froze those the other day and then the next day we defrost them and eat them. They were delicious. Oh, yeah. really? And yeah. do you wrap them in foil yeah. and lemon juice? And well, I don't know what we did, but it sure tasted good. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do the Super. same thing. Super. Okay, and yeah, so this, this is, is a... Rod. <laughs> there it Wonderful. Is. Well, so there you have it. Another video from camping at fishingcalifornia.com and this one on how to flay a trout and our thanks goes out to Rod Bunn uh, who helped us with this and and gave us great instruction and real simplistic in, instruction on how to do this I uh, for one am very confident that I can do it this now and uh, uh, in fact my wife is down right now catching something so I can work on it a little bit one thing that I wanted to tell you about Rod Bunn is he is NRA certified uh, in shotgun instruction. If you need a world-class shotgun instructor, this guy is top-notch. If you're anywhere in Southern California, look him up on the internet. He's at shotgunteacher.com. That's shotgunteacher.com and his name's Rod Bunn. And you can even give them a call at 661-713-0409. And this guy would love to help you really get the best out of uh, shooting trap or shooting game or whatever you want to do with a 12 gauge shotgun or any other gauge shotgun. This guy is top notch. So give him a shout, will you? Hey, our thanks goes out to Rod. And thank you for joining us again here at Camping and Fishing California dot com